<laughs> hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough. I am here with. Oops. Okay, you want to get it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Here we go. We'll Hi everybody. <laughs> Everybody, it is Billy at Beat Tough Man. I am here with Rhonda, and we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do J.R. Ewing summer hat, yep. right? J.R. Yep. Ewing. We want to talk about J.R. J.R. was such a uh, such an awesome character that CBS created. We're gonna talk about that, and uh, it's a probably like a 1980s cowboy yeah. hat, right? Yeah. That is bold in its design, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it, man, because J.R. was such a great character, right? Why did you do that? Because you needed slapping down, Cliff. Tomorrow morning, the janitor's going to come in here and sweep you out with the rest of the trash. Unless, of course, you do the honorable thing. Get in the elevator, go up the roof, and jump off, huh? <laughs> a lot of his photos, or that, his photos and stuff that he did in the show, he used a silver belly, right? Yes, yes he But did. you really can't get that silver belly in the crown that high anymore. No, you right? can't. It's yeah. a very tall crown, like maybe, well, a seven inch for sure. Right. Yeah. And so we're gonna have we're gonna use a straw, but he did wear some summer hats, and yeah. so we're gonna do a summer hat that Jr. would wear in 1980, and we're gonna talk about Jr. along the way. Yes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes. So what are we starting with here? Okay, this is American, but it's got a design right here. But just act like it does not have a design. Okay. No, but it's got a design right here. This is the tallest crown I have, and I'm um, gonna use this one. Okay. Okay. I love it. So, so you know what's interesting is. Larry Hagman, right? Great actor. Oh, yeah. And he first came on the scene. Well, actually, he may have done a couple other things, but he came on the scene with I Dream of Jeannie. Yeah. And he came in and everybody loved him, right? Everybody He's a lovable character. Yeah. That Real was trying sweet to. Sweet guy, you know. Yeah, he was always trying to, like, uh, I don't know, like, Jeannie was always out of control, like, always doing things, you know what I mean? And he was always, like, the rational person. But when he came on as JR, you know, he had to... Now, what kind of top are we putting on? This is a cattleman. Okay, a cattleman. I'm going to do a cattleman. I'm going to start low on the back and high in the front. Let's push down a little bit more. And then I'm going to put the deep, big sides. Uh, he always had these big, huge dimples on the sides. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, so he came off I Dream Genie. He went to the show Dallas, and he became one of the best villains ever in TV history. Yeah. Right? Always a... Uh, Double crosser, right? I love the way he talked too. Like he'd go, well, Bobby, or he'd go like, Suellen, like yeah. you know, the way he talked. Was yeah, cool. he, he had that accent, you know. Yeah. That. Well, everybody can see that she's cracking up, slowly and surely, and who can blame her? I mean, she finds out that her daddy, Digger Barnes, is no relation at all. And her real father is a saddle tramp and a thief, and, and her mother's a whore. Uh, who could find it in their heart to hate that poor little girl, huh? Could you? But what was really, I watched this show when when I could. I, I mostly was working, but uh, my mom, oh my gosh, she, she was addicted to it, which yeah. it was so was a lot of other people. But um, it's the way um, he talked to Sue Ellen. Yeah, he called wife. her a slut. He called her a slut all the time. Like one of my favorite scenes, like this was a common scene. They probably played it over and over. She'd be like, well, where are you going, JR? See one of your floozies? And he'd be like, well, Sue Ellen, it's better than the slut I'm with tonight. Like that. And he'd, he'd walk out the door and they'd be like, ooh, we called her a slut, you know. Tell me, JR, which slut are you going to stay with tonight? What difference does it make? Whoever it is, it's got to be more interesting than the slut I'm looking at right now. All the time he was, he was uh, oh man, he was just ruthless, man, on messing around and, and the sister-in-law. Yeah, so he, the biggest, you know, so one of the biggest cliffhangers in TV history was who shot JR. Yeah. Now, for people that are young, they may not understand. Now, what are we doing here? We're doing the big. Okay, we're doing the big, and it came way down like so. It kind of like almost that. like was a pointy hat, right? Yeah, yeah. See? This is the back, yeah. it's the front, but it was like that. Yeah. Really, really like big. Yeah. <laughs> so who shot JR was a catchphrase that was so oh, yeah. popular, uh -huh. people were wearing shirts that said who shot JR. Yeah. And it was yeah. a cliffhanger yeah. at the end of the year. Because they had to wait a whole until the season came back for the fourth one. Right, and everybody was talking about it. I mean, yeah. everybody, in all kinds of circles. Even if you weren't a big fan of the show, people were talking about, who do you think shot JR? Because JR had so many uh, people that didn't like him in that show, right? Barnes, yes. I think Barnes was his Barnes, rival. Yes. Um, the brother, the half-brother or whatever, he didn't, yeah. you know, they, they didn't like him. Yeah. Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen was always... Pam hated him. Remember Bobby's uh, wife, like Pam, Pam? She yeah. hated him. Yeah. No one you care so much for Sue Ellen. She's just like your mother. Another drunken slut who ran away. 
You sly. You make me sick. Keep out of my way, Pamela, or I'll destroy you. So we were, everybody was really confused, like, I wonder who did it. I wonder who did it. Yeah. You know, because he had so many haters. <laughs> right. So the person yeah. that did, I'll give people a couple things. You know who shot JR? Let me, let's see if we let people answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the person that shot JR was his mm -hmm. sister-in-law, Kristen, mm -hmm. and she shot him. And uh, it took, they didn't unveil it until the fourth episode into the next season. Yeah. And they had 83 million people watching that show. Yeah. Yep. They did. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do now is, um, let me, okay. I'm going to shorten up this through here. Yeah. It's kind of thick. And uh, then we're almost done. Okay. So I'm going to bring that in like so, just a little bit. And then smooth it out. Yeah, uh, I remember my mom. She uh, she was called my aunt, and they'd be on the phone for an hour talking about who they thought shot Jr. Yeah. Now he didn't end up pressing charges because she claimed that. Well, I guess in the show they had an affair, and she yeah. said she was pregnant with Jr.'s kid. Yes. And I don't know. I don't. I'm not into the show enough to know how she that panned was, out. But she was his mistress. Yeah. But nobody really pointed the finger at her really no she was like the she last was, person yeah think. the last person so here's a big old tall crown let's see this thing i mean it's like big <laughs> yeah that's it all right now we got to put okay, a big old texas the, swoop in it right yeah now we're gonna do the bram so but yeah it was a good show you know the thing i liked about it too is like JR was always down like he'd get down sometimes there was even one time i think where barnes had control of ewing oil and uh but you could never count JR out because he was so down and dirty, you know what I mean? That he, he would figure out a way to get it yeah, back and yeah. get revenge, you know? Every time. Uh, look here, birds of a feather. Plotting an assassination, are you? Or trying to figure out some way of stealing somebody else's company? You know what they say, losers tend to flock together. Ah, like the little lady you're with, huh? Cliff. <laughs> I've always heard you're a big spender, JR. Tell me, how much does it cost you to have her throw me over? Oh, that was for free. All she had to do was hang around with you for a while. Well, enjoy your champagne. I hope you paid for it, Barnes. I think we'll be moving along. I knew we shouldn't have come here. But Charles and I wouldn't have missed that for the world. <laughs> so I'm giving it a, a bend here, kind of pressing it in with my finger. Okay, so it's a real gradual bend, right? Yeah, so I'm just pushing with my forefinger and holding it with my thumb, kind of pushing up with my thumb a little bit okay. as I kind of bend it and shape it. Yeah, it's a very casual, smooth bend. So it's basically just a, a real easy. It's a pretty high swoop. Yeah, and not even this. It, it came it rounded, like in the front, and just rounded and went. In the eighties, they had like back. real gradual bends, yeah, right? I, thought, yeah. I think someone mentioned that uh, yeah. that you know it was an art form getting those things high and round, you yeah, know, on the yeah, sides. But you could see the form, you know, yeah. underneath and. That's the fun thing about it. So you got to get this roll. When you roll a hat, you'll see the line where you started the roll at. Okay. You can kind of see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know the one thing about the ART, if you ever go back and look at the old photos and stuff, they kind of uh, shaped his eyebrows. If you ever look at them, they're shaped up like the devil. I don't know if you ever were. seen that before. Yeah, they were. They yeah, were it's like interesting. the devil. It was really weird. Yeah. It was like he grew them out and then they... they yeah, then they kind of like, <laughs> they, they shaped them up. They pointed them up. Got some stiffener and kind of pointed them up a little bit. Right. Yeah, he had them weird eyebrows. Oh, God. They were, they were weird. But um, he was something else, though. You know what's hilarious? So they brought him back on, like, they brought the show Dallas back. I mean, I don't know when it was, what, 2008 or something like that? Yeah. And JR came back or whatever. They had, they had JR in there. And uh, the funny thing is, is that JR, they had, a, they had one show where JR had passed away, right? And they were, or whatever, and they were having a funeral for him. Uh -huh. And JR showed up to it. Jared yeah. showed up to his own funeral. Everybody was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's awesome." When Jared could do that, how could you do that? I mean, yeah. what what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people were going, "I knew it! I knew he was up to something." Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is basically what I see in his photos and what I can remember from the show. A little bit more band in the front there. Just kind of get it even. Just a smooth, easy bend. 
kind of big for me. So this is JR's straw hat. Now you have a band you're gonna put on it, right? Yeah, see? Okay. How it's just, yep. I, was barely, I have to hold it up because it's so big on me. But these feathers here, I have one that just, it's just a, a one feather thing, but they have these um, big feathers, you know. In the 80s, it's a lot of high feathers, yeah. right? It's got a little hook right here that you hook into the, to the uh, hat. Hook it so it'll stay, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he had, you know, big old feathers on his hat, which I just have this one. So we're going to use this leather. Yeah, band on some of them, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put that on right now. So, uh, so yeah, so feedback on the last video. Did we get any uh, people that really want new the song, the first song that came on? We did. People got that. That was uh, Char uh, Charlie Daniels, Texas, yep. right? Or was it Texas, right? Texas. That was, uh, so the question was, was yeah. what was on the show Urban Cowboy? Yeah. What was the first song that played in the movie, right? Yeah. Yep. And I think it was Charlie Daniels, yeah. Texas, right? Charlie Daniels, Texas. It sure was. No, I'm not sure if he was the original writer of that. Someone can write that in. I think... Yeah, it was I, he was the original. Did he write Nobody that? Someone that else sang that song, too, um, yeah. who was also on that album. No, no, I have to look it up. So you have to look yeah. it up. But... Um, I was, that was just interesting, I was yeah. wondering. So, did we already say who, who killed JR? Yep, it's okay. Chris. Okay, so... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that show ran for a lot of years, it man. It did. Remember they had, so it was Dallas and Dynasty. How many episodes did they have? Oh, like? man, I don't know. It was, it was over 10 years for sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I remember one of the big things, too. So, like, the, one of the biggest arguments was when, uh, so JR tried to take control of their son. Man, I'm going I'm to mess this up. Something oh, Ross. Oh, uh, I forgot what his kid's name was. But uh, she, he tried to take control because Swellen was a drunk, right? She yeah. was She was an alcoholic. She was always drunk. And she played an awesome drunk, by the way. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she was really believable. What are you doing here? Yeah, I just want to see if you're still sober. Sue Ellen, don't bother with that story on my account, honey. We both know you're lush. Yeah, I know. I remember when I yeah. used to watch it, it was like, it's, I think she's really drunk. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't. And Jared always dig on that for two. Like, oh, yeah. what are you doing, Sue Ellen? That was it. Strange seeing you not at the bar tonight. Yeah. Like, or whatever, you know. Yeah. And, and, like he wanted her to drink so he could have an excuse to slip out or, or you know or, or call her names or call her names or whatever yeah. and have his excuse of uh him you now where do people get these like do they sell these they sell these belts right here are these yes, made for hats we, specifically we sell them we sell them here at the store and um they run anywhere from 15 dollars to 50 dollars okay depends we got all silver we got light dark design no design we got beads yeah. and all kinds of so oh, yeah. if someone wants a custom hat, though, you can make anything, right? Yes. Yes. Yep, I can. That's actually pretty cool. That's a nice looking. That's actually a nice design. It is. It to looks, have on a straw it looks hat, good actually. On a straw hat. Yeah, too. yeah, real good. So when you put these on a hat, your buckle always goes to your left shoulder. It does. Because a lot of people go, oh, there's no if the, if the ribbon or bow falls out or doesn't have one, and if it doesn't have X's here and the X's are over here. So you're going, oh, some guys and some people do not know which way to put the hat on. It always, your buckle, your bow, anything on top of the hat here goes to your left shoulder. Always. Always. Yep. Left shoulder, always. Yep. That's always good to know. Left I don't know. I think it'd go to the back, but it goes to the left shoulder. See? Got to turn around. So it goes like and this. it's pointing backwards, of course, yes. right? Yes. Yep. And this goes to the bit like that. Get it on there. Now, will that right tighten there. up the crown a little bit, too? It does. does it? it really so does. So if you have a loose cowboy hat sometimes you can get you a belt get it, uh -huh, and it'll help out a little and bit tighten it up yeah really? okay that's and great. some guys come in oh, this thing's so tight you know and they put it on and i'm looking at him going is it bad tight or or you go, just a little you know it's tight mm -hmm. it gives me a headache well i take the band off and i do what i need to do to the hat you know whatever they need done and then i go now try it on and they try it on and they go oh wow I go, did you notice I didn't, you don't have a hat band on there? And they go, was that what it was? Because the leather, when it gets wet, yeah, it shrinks. gets salt from your, your, your head and all that, shrinks it <laughs> when it dries. So it will, tight, it will tighten up. Can you stretch a hat? Yes, you can. Do they have hat stretchers? Yes, I do. You do? I do. Okay. I have a four-way. These are really old. These are like over 100 years old. They are? <laughs> 
they're really old. They're really, really old. This is a four-way. It stretches from the, the back, the front, and each side. And as you put it in there and you open it up, see how it forms out? When you got it in the hat, it'll, you know. Stretch it out. Yeah. How many hat sizes can you go up? It's not good to go up too many. Okay. Um, it'll deform the hat. It depends. Okay, say if I'm a seven and I like uh, and I have a six and seven eighths, you can stretch it to a seven, but you gotta be careful. It depends on how old the hat is and how much wear and tear, how much sweat. The sweat will pop the, uh, the, the, seams. the seams inside and make it all bad, you know, and, and the whole inside will fall out. But, so you gotta really be careful. You add steam to it like this, and then you go around on the outside like this. Get nice and warm, you put your hat stretcher in there, steam it again, and then you slightly just open it up until it's just kind of tight and then let it sit. The longer you leave it on, the better it stretches. Yeah. But here we are. There, there we are. A let me go up a little bit on the side here. So yeah, he uh like them back in the day those tall crowns you know have you know even urban cowboy oh, had to tall made, them t made people taller yeah tall tall crowns and, uh, some of the hats we're thinking about doing in the future we've talked about clint eastwood would be a fun one right yeah. we're talking about maybe doing that one like the good bad the ugly mm -hmm. uh maybe an indiana jones hat he's yeah. they're redoing a new movie yeah. maybe later on down the road we can do it give us your input yeah give us your input if they're oh someone did mention one man i can't remember someone mentioned us but garth brooks, garth someone, brooks. Someone oh speak. yeah garth brooks yep yeah, i could do his hat mm. Yep, I have done one. Uh, Big Al was not here, it was on a Sunday, and the guy comes in, he goes, I want my hat, just like Garth Brooks. It took me a while to kind of play it around, because I haven't played around with the steam over there for a while, and uh, but I did it. <laughs> I mean, he walked out of here, he was happy. Yeah. So yeah, just you guys give us your input and see which one you would like us to, uh, to do. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, and you slut. <laughs> that's perfect. He'd tell her, and then he had smile with them, them uh, eyebrows, you know. Yeah, his eyebrows. <laughs> he'd walk out the door. He'd always walk out the door and leave, like you know, you know walk out the door. He'd say he's like he say his uh, degrading comment to someone, and then walk out the door. Yeah, he was glad that Mama didn't schedule another voting meeting. The only way we'd get Ray there to vote his shares is hold it in the bar. The yeah, he would. He's yeah. funny. All right, so um, let me take one more look at this thing. Okay, so this is so, the Jr. Summer hat. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I love it, man. There's a lot of fun coming down here, man. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. So uh, if you have ideas, let us know. Yes. We'll get it in there and we'll talk a little bit about it. And of course, talking about JR is always fun, right? Yep. yep. JR. It is. it is. Yeah. Very good. We're we'll bringing right. back a lot of good memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very fun. Anyway. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is Rhonda at the Emporium Morrison store. She has become a celebrity of sort. People are ordering from all over the place and they're, you know, she people you know, they're becoming pretty popular on YouTube. That's for sure. All right, a lot of fun. All right, this is Rhonda, this is Billy at Emporium Washington.